Hello guys, welcome back to Algorithms Made Easy. We will be solving the day 18 problem from the May Lead Coding Challenge. Given two string S1 and S2, we need to write a function to return true if S2 contains the permutation of S1. In other words, one of the first strings permutation is the substring of the second string. For example 1, we can see that AB is a permutation of BA, so program returns true. While for example 2, there is no permutation of AB in string S2. So the program returns false. We are also given that input will contain only lowercase letters. Let's walk through the algorithm. We will take two arrays of size 26 to store the count of characters in both the strings. We will be using sliding window to solve this problem. Initially, we will store the count of characters of string S1 into S1 array. Also, we will store the count of characters in S2 till the length of S1 minus 1 in S2 array. Now, we will start iterating over the rest of the characters in S2 one at a time so that in each iteration we will have a window same as size of S1 with us. In each iteration, we will first increment the count of character at the current index in S2 array. Then we will compare S2 array with S1 array. If both are equal, we will return true. After comparing, we will decrement the count of character at the start of current window and then shift our window one character ahead. If no permutation found, we return false. Let's see it in action. Initially, we will iterate through S1 and store its count in character count array for S1. This will be our final array that we will use in comparisons. Now we will count the characters in S for size S1 minus 1, which will give us this array. Now we will start iterating one character at a time to form a sliding window, same as the size of S1. While iterating, first we increment the count of character at current index. Now we have the count of all the characters of the window in the array for S2. So we compare both these arrays to see if they are equal. As we can see, they are not. We will remove the count of start character by decrementing its value in the array and move forward. We have our next window. For this, we again increment the count of character at current index and compare the updated array with the array of S1. As these are not equal, we move ahead, but before moving window ahead, we decrement the count for start element in the array. Similarly, we compare each window in S2 to find if it matches the character in S1 till we find a match or the end. As we can see, we found a match, we do not need to traverse ahead and we will return true. If we would have not found a match till the end, we would have returned false. The time complexity of our algorithm is O of L1 plus L2, where L1 and L2 are the length of the strings. The space complexity here is a constant as the size of our array will never vary with the value of L1 and L2. Here is the actual code snippet for the method. Also, check the link to the Java code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. Check out link to the Java code in the description below. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Check out my other videos for more interview problems. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video. And also, if you want me to make a video on one of your problem statements, do comment.